Hey guys, Holly here and back with another laser video. So I've been working away with my laser for a couple months now, done a lot of practicing, learned a lot, and I'm finally ready to share with you a larger scale project. Well, large for me anyway. So uh, let's jump right into the project. Three, two, one. guys so what I've done here is I've just gone to Google and I did a quick Google image search for floral wallpaper vector and I'm looking for something that's black and white with um, really pristine detail and I found this one here it's on a site called free pick so you can use this one for free so no worries about copyrights there so I'm just going to actually save this image now you can import um, it's gonna call it flowers here you can import images um, one of two ways into Lightburn. So you can copy this image, right click copy, go over to Lightburn and then paste the image. And then it's there. That is a super easy way to do it. So I'm just going to shrink this down. Now, if you didn't want to do that, the other way to do it, but honestly, it's more um, involved is you could actually save the image on your computer and then you can go up here to this little paper with the import and you can import it from your um, downloads. But honestly, just copying and pasting works so well. Um, so then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna right click on this and we're gonna trace our image here. So now you can see it does kind of a free, or not free, sorry, it does a first initial little tracing. Usually most times these are pretty good. It gets a lot of the details, but if you wanted to, you can slide these lower bars here and it'll, um, you can take the manual controls and you can get less detail or more detail, um, whatever you want based on your design. But I'm gonna go ahead with what they did here and then we just have to hit okay. Now we still have our image here, so we just have to grab that, move it off, and then we're left with the tracing, okay? So now this we don't need, so we can just um, delete that. Right click and delete. But now I wanna cut this out in a, or not cut it out, sorry, I'm engraving it in a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a circle to our project. So I'm just gonna click the circle and I'm gonna bring it over top and do kind of a, oops, do a little circle over there. Now I'm going to move my circle a little bit here, or I'll move the image, sorry. Just, I want that nice big flower there. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, click, drag and hold over both the images. And then what we're gonna do is a uh, intersection of the two shapes. So it's just loading there. And then what that does is it gets rid of all of the background um, and we're just left with our circle here. Now, since we're engraving this, I wanna make sure that my settings are correct. So we're gonna go ahead here and um, we're gonna make sure that we have it on here. I have my save settings down here, these little colored bars. Um, I. I like this one here, the orange one. That's the one I use for most of my engraving. So it does it at a speed of 500 and power 60. Just make sure the air is off. Now, before we do that, I do wanna cut out some letters to go on here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a text box and I'm gonna make this for my daughter. So I'm gonna do Ava first and I want that to be in big, nice big letters. So I'm just gonna go through my fonts here. Now you can see I have my fonts um, stored in here from my computer. So I upload my own fonts uploaded here. I like this Ava. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna, I'm gonna change that to a cut here. And that way I can see it too. So I'm gonna put the Ava over top and then I'm gonna do her middle name in a different font. I want a nice, more simple font. So let's see here. Find a nice one to go underneath. Let's do that one. Actually, you know what? I'm, I think I'm gonna change this one. Yeah, 
I want that bright. And then this one I'm going to change like that. Okay. So now that I have my two there, I'm going to just size these up a bit. And we're going to put them in place on here. But now we have to resize this based on my... Um, my circle that I have. So I already have a pre-cut circle. And my circle is just a little over seven and a half. So if we grab all this and we resize it here, I think that's good there. Okay, now we can move this off. We don't need it on top of each other. And I actually wanna set this up because I'm cutting it, I'm engraving this on the circle but I'm cutting this out of a different material that I'm going to put over top another piece of wood. So I'm going to actually move them down a bit. So when we go up here, this little computer screen is the preview and it's going to show you um, where it's going to go on the thing. So if we hit play, we can see it's going to engrave that first and then it's going to cut out our wood. And actually, you can just slide this if you don't want to watch the whole thing. You can see that it does that. That's the order that it's going to go in. So let's go ahead and let's take this over to my to the laser. And um, we're going to see this in action. All right, so I'm going to fire up my laser here, turn it on. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the cable um, that I need to connect to my laptop that sends the design directly to the laser. And then I'm going to load my materials into the laser. So I'm working with the Nova 24. I have my circle piece here. That's the piece that's going to be engraved and the square for the letters. So I'm going to set the origin and then I'm going to frame it out here. Now this is where I hit a bit of a snag and live time. I'm going to explain that. I think it's messing me up here because I have two different cuts going on. So what I think I'm going to do, since I'm not that experienced, I'm going to remove the letters and cut those after and we're just going to do the circle first. So yeah, baby steps here people. I am still learning and I didn't want, it was just too much pressure to try to do them all together. So if anyone has any okay, tips or guys, tricks for that and go. has a laser, please share those in the comments below with me. So um, once I had it all set, I just push go, uh, start, sorry, and then the laser is going to take off and it's going to engrave um, my project. So in between setting up the uh, circle round and the laser, I decided I actually wanted this to have color. Like this is beautiful and everything and I love it, but I wanted to have some color to this. So I set my wood in next to cut out the letters, but I decided I wanted to redo the circle part engraving because I wanted to have that color. So I'm actually going to paint the circle first and then engrave it. So you can see here, my letters are cutting out just so you can see this, um, how cool this is with the laser. Um, but let's go back and um, let me show you what I did with the engraving part. All right, so for the wood circle, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint it with some Jitterbug from Country Chic Paint. This is a nice, rich, dark, navy teal color and it's just beautiful so i'm going to paint that and i'm going to let that fully dry while that's drying i'm going to go ahead and spray paint my letters with some hammered gold and then i'm going to pop my circle back into the laser and it's going to engrave directly over the paint it's just an easier way to paint your pieces before um, and then you don't have to worry about painting and getting it in the engraved lines. So I'm going to clean off all the uh, dust in there from the laser. And then this is the finished one. So they're both beautiful, but I really like the dark moody tones of this one. And it'll match my daughter's room. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the letters out. And then I'm going to just attach them with a little bit of E6000 glue. Now, I'm going to show you this one finished here with the pretty stage set. But I do want to ask you just to stick around at the end of the video because I did forget something that would be very helpful for when you're gluing the letters. So, um, but this is the finish sign here. It's beautiful. It turned out so well. And come on guys, for like my fourth laser project, I would say this one is definitely a win. I still have a lot to learn, but honestly, it is going so well and I cannot wait to dive into deeper, more involved projects. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I finished my daughter's. I brought it outside. My son saw it, and he told me he wanted one, too. So I'm going to make a second one for my son. But I thought I would just show you a quick uh, little trick. I didn't include this in the first one, and I wish I would have. But especially since my son's name is longer, and they're uh, more straight letters. I'm not doing, like, a curvy font. I want to add some score lines in here so that when I'm um, putting his 3D letters on, I know exactly where to line them up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we do that, we want to make sure we have it at the exact right size. So I'm just going to put these in place here and then we're going to resize this. So you always want to size your project up before you do any kind of duplicating, which you're going to see in a minute. I'm going to duplicate. But uh, right now we're sitting at 13 by 12, so we got to bring this down a bit. So I'm going to bring it down again to about the same as the other one. It's like around seven and a half. So let's do that there. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to move this little Star Wars thing out of the way here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to grab both of these. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy and we're going to paste it. So now we have ones that are going to be our cut. We're going to move those out of the way for just a second. These ones, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these into a score. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change the color. Um, it's going to be a fill, but we're going to take the speed down to 400. And then we're going to put the power at 17. And what that's going to do is it's just going to lightly score the surface. All right, and now this one, I want. I think I want the engraving to be a little bit deeper um, than it was for my daughters. So we're gonna take this down to 300. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we are going to put this in place. So let's grab it here. Or actually, let's move the Star Wars one over top right there and we're going to uh, da, 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 I'm going to move this one to the back alright so we just grabbed the fill for the 400 and move that to the top now we're going to select this and we're just going to delete this for now and then we're just going to do this one first. Alright, so back in the laser here, I already pre-painted this piece, but it's engraving, or sorry, roughly scoring the letters for me. And then here it is when it was done. I didn't show the whole process in the laser because I've already done a tutorial for the first sign. But I did just want to show you what it looks like with the rough scoring of the letters so that you can line up your letters right over top they cover this and then all you have to do is glue them on and then you know they're perfectly straight you don't have to fiddle around with lining them up and making sure that they're all straight so this is just one little helpful tip I'm sure out there maybe there's a better way of doing this but like I said I'm just beginning with my laser so um, I hope this helps maybe some people from a beginner standpoint but if you know something better or you have another tip or trick please feel free to comment those and let me know because like I said I'm just starting out with my laser so I'd love to learn as well and we can learn along together. So thank you so much for tuning into this video I hope you enjoyed it have a great day everybody and we'll see you again soon.